Today on Takeaway Weekly, I talk about free and disposable email addresses that keep your identity private and anonymous online. This is TQA Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka ZAxis. If ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, and use the contact form. Or if you're watching on a website, use the comments box on this page or even on the show notes page of this episode. Of course, the show notes are going to be at tqaweekly.com slash se3ep35. And I'm going to be talking about the disposable email address. Using the internet more securely and privately with disposable email addresses. Why would you want to use one? So let's talk about your privacy online or the lack thereof. Every time you download a piece of software and enter your email address, go to a website that you don't even know of and never show up again and put your email address or any other actual bizarre action you do online actually ends up putting you into a bunch of databases. Once all these databases are joined together, they can actually build a pretty accurate profile view which actually allows advertisers to specifically target ads that are generally pretty accurate to what you like. So if you like porn, if you like downloading all kinds of gibberish and games and the most bizarre stuff, what happens is eventually you're going to be served ads of those nature. Now for the untrained person, they're just going to figure these ads are off the rocker and have nothing to do with you. Those who know better will actually know these ads are targeted towards you and that actually might pose a risk in the future. So what can you do? Well, use temporary email addresses. They're normally free and they will actually incur a lot less spam and because you're using them and dropping them will actually prevent you from being tracked. You're not going to necessarily use over and over the same disposable email address. So you don't actually become part of any database, whether you're using the fake email address or your real one, because you're going to be using new fake ones every single time. So the benefits of such a temporary email service is for all intents and purposes, it's disposable. You can incur less spam, also saving bandwidth in the process, and you are, for all technical reasons, anonymous at this point. The only misfortunes that even I can think of that make this unpractical is if you register a website and you find out you actually want to become a member of this place and actually stay there. So let's say the latest Facebook that actually overtakes it, or you end up having to get yourself a brand new password because you lost yours. If you don't have access to the original account, disposable email address, you will never have access to that account ever again, by the way, last pass to deal with that one. And of course, some of these services don't even use password protected pages. They show up, anybody can type in the address, anybody can see what the messages are. Basically, don't use this for private communications that you don't want anybody getting their hands on. So those are the great benefits and misfortunes. And should you still use a service, even though you have all those potential bad things that can happen to you that are not necessarily going to be in your favor, let's say you wanted to keep those accounts or you lost your password. The fact is, yes, you should still be using these kinds of services. And there are a bunch of services that I'm actually going to show you that can actually benefit you to this specific purpose. So the first service I'd like to talk about is fake mail generator. Basically, you can type in any address that you want here, pick a domain, copy it to your wherever you want to your the clipboard of your computer, paste it into the place you want to register, and you it will actually wait for the emails to show up. And then you just, you know, validate anything that you want to. The next one is called Mint Email. Same thing, except they give you an address up here. You can always have a custom address or copy the address, and it will wait for any of the email there. You have trashmail.ws. You can get a temporary random email or set a temporary email always cool. By the way, these are all free. You have throwawaymail.com, which is better, which allows you to actually copy this address, which basically at throwawaymail.com 
and it will also wait for you to actually get mail and show it on the screen. Trash can mail, same process. You can also check the inbox later on. So if ever you lose your password, you can always go back and get your password. By the way, there is no password protecting that. So be very careful with that. You have Gorilla Mail, which allows you to do the same thing. You have fake inbox. You have this possible. You have Mailnator. You have Jetab as well and numerous others. But these are the ones that I have included in my show notes. So like I say at every beginning of the episode, I do keep show notes, tqaweekly.com slash se3ep35 for those that will listen by RSS feed downloading my actual show from the servers. For those that listen through YouTube, blip.tv, Mirror Community, any other place on the internet, it will be in the description of this episode. If ever it's been clipped, you can always go to the show notes page that I have provided for this specific episode. Next week though, I'll be showing you how to search anonymously online. So none of that Google bizarre crap where you're being analyzed and tracked and served ads specifically tailored to what you're searching from. You'll actually be able to go on the internet, search for stuff and forget about the fact that you've searched for that stuff. So you don't have to worry too much about what's going to be happening with that information. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a great day and stay safe and online. Thank you for listening to TQA Weekly. Show your support by liking this episode, subscribe to get our latest episodes as they come out, and share with friends and family who may benefit from such a show as this. You may send us your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories to ask at tqaweekly.com. For our show notes, links to our Android application, alternate means of subscribing to our show, and information on joining our weekly newsletter, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day.